Pirates. But now there's three, four stacks on Kuro, and there's no disruption to help him. A Fisher means first blood. That's going to be the rot deny attempted. Kuro tries to time it, and he does not get it. Instead, it's going to be now a dive past the tower, nearly pounce. And it's going to be first blood, actually, for... Again, careful. Speaking of being careful, Kuroki going to jump in with the rot onto the thug. Miracle's looking for a bash. Not quite oh, come on. lucky enough, but should still get the kill. Cold snap. Not going to do it. Miracle's just going to time walk clean out. Yeah, you really need that bash as soon as possible to make that gank cost effective because you weren't used to having to go up against that. The Earthshaker Fisher now catching out Pudge out of position. Sunstrike going to help this out. Kuro looks for the deny, does not get it. And my control is not going to be able to keep pace with Spartan to finish the job on the Lion. Instead, it's going to be a nice jump forward from Miracle trading with Thug, who will take a bash and a couple of free hits. He's kind of getting smashed in this lane. You were talking about earlier, like this mid lane matchup being of the utmost importance for this uh, these two teams and their matchup. Faceless Void has some of the higher base damage in the game. He's definitely using that to his advantage. Up towards top lane, Mind Control. And we'll get a chance to use a second Fairy Fire, I suppose. Sunstrike, though, gonna cut it short. So, Fairy Fire, again, not sure if it's gonna find its value, but still, it's gonna be another kill for Adfinem, another uh, A kill for the Invoker. Much needed kill considering how little he's getting versus this Faceless Void. And usually with this, it's uh, the lane gets a little bit better. Skylark on the bottom lane actually in a little trouble. Pounce does land. Can't All Firefly right. at it, so he'll try to bump it back with a Flame Break, but it's not going to be enough. Shouting is going to grab that kill in the meantime towards top lane. Roki is going to get Fissure Walled off. There's no great angle for his escape, and a nice spike from Spartan also, keeping Mind Control out of this fight. Spin is there, Rot Deny? No, again, not quite going to do it, so it's another kill for the Dire, and this Tidehunter only... Be I think he's mostly stuck. Mandara's going to come in with the Spin, Mind Control, not even trying to right-click down this Juggernaut, just trying to book it the other direction. We'll dodge the Sun Strike. Very fired. Oh, it's not going to do it. A couple more right clicks. And the Dar's going to grab that kill. Perhaps a little bit too close to, for comfort there from the Abdenum squad, but still, it's Tidehunter going down again. I mean, I, I kind of understand it because he's still getting experience. Bounce connect bottom. Gold That's going to be Shout another kill. Now going to get jumped. The offlaner is having a really hard time here. Three stacks poison. Is he dead? One more stack is required, and it's going to connect. He walks right back into it and will go down. Shadow poison doing its job. Four stacks. Two kills. Bulba, two and zero. Starting with this invoker. And now he's got a chronosphere with a double damage shout even right around the corner. They got it. Yeah, this one is coming kill. in. Earthshaker is going to end up teleporting right into the bubble. Thug is going to get beaten down and will fall before there's a response from the Earthshaker. But now everyone's coming in. Bulba does not have enough mana to cast anything substantial. They stun up Miracle in the back end. He's going to time walk that out. Has a lot of mana left. Bulba's going to be chased down by the Batrider. Okay. He will be the first one to fall as Miracle is going to be hit with a couple stacks of napalm. Doesn't have a wand or a stick or anything. Stuns coming oh, up like, no. online, and there it is. It's gonna wall off Miracle. He's stuck in the corner, and he's gonna go down. Juggernaut was also able to kill off Mind Control for the uh, team time, and is looking at Kroki as well. Yeah, almost. FNM just feasting. Yeah, doing really well right now, and obviously, like, oh, and Sunstrike almost hits on Kuro as well. Just uh, going in, you got that level advantage. Madara is able to get out that Omni and just break down the tide. No problem at all. Spin Omni, and the hero just doesn't have enough health to work with. So. Beyond that, uh, I do think that there's a chance that we could have seen Miracle live if he had gone for the Southwest time walk. Instead, he goes down where the Batrider already is. So the Batrider, oh shoot, as I miss a, a kill, unfortunately, Bulba making plays happen where you just wouldn't believe it. And I do believe that it was just a really low HP juggernaut, but even still. So Shadow Demon getting a solo kill on a juggernaut. Anyone getting a solo kill. Drop that one on mid. Dar is back up towards top oh, this lane. This should be a kill in mid. Here comes Sunstrike, though. Finger, Kaboom. Top lane. Gets too aggressive. Dara is booking it out. Mind Control, uh, not quite level 6 though, but see Mind Control escaping the wall. Yeah, but they have to make sure that they, he doesn't get a TP away. So they have to keep vision on him so that they can follow it up with any kind of stun. And it's going to be actually Invoker to claim the kill, which just gives that much more to Thug. He's going to have that Midas very soon. Um, but it's a nice little smoke. Martin caught with the Purge. Miracle's right around the corner and he will. Well, not even being needed to hook him away from Miracle and should be able to take him down with the other heroes. Denied, Miracle, denied, but still oh, a lion kill thug, in there. Though. Circling with the top of man as well. It's a thug, Pounce is gonna connect. Mind Control walking in with the Ravage. He will deploy it just to kill off this Invoker, and they will get him. Kills for Liquid. The tower is not too healthy either, so it should be a nice set of... Out from under his nose. But in the meantime, Mind Control... This is a bit much, man. Like, I, I won't complain about a lot of the deaths prior to this. Like, your Earthshaker sucks to lane against, and it's a, it's a hard knock life for you. But holy crap, that is way too deep. Necessary, and I would say it's, it's going to prove that way, as we do see multiple heroes coming in.
come in, does get the Dark Pact off, and will break down the Hex. There's going to be the Sunstrike coming through. Omni Slash under Kuro, though, and he's going to have to rot. No, he's just going to stay. He's going to eat. He's going to devour Madara right before the Finger of Death comes through, and now the Fisher comes through as well. The spin and the Healing Ward allows him to survive. They're going to have to pop the Chrono just to bring him down. Madara lives through it all at this point, and finally will meet his demise, but MNT turns it around with the Echo and puts some major damage across the board. The problem is this fight was already ill-advised to begin with, going in like three versus four, and bringing more heroes just brings more food to the platter here. Oh my goodness, this Tide Hunter, he can eat a Plankton, he can eat a Krill, now he can eat a buffet of Dire Heroes as they march down bottom and <laughs> they die one by one. That was got the smoke off the courier. I think they know about the smoke, but the question is, who is able to get the spells off first? Dark Pack just used as a perfect time to go for the Fisher, go for the Hex, and go for the kill on Matumba, man. No hook out for you, just the kill. And while Miracle does drop a massive Chronosphere, they're not getting any damage out. In the meantime, there's going to be a Ravage on to four heroes, but the Omni Slash still comes out and puts major damage in. Miracle is able to break off that finger, but in the meantime, Matadara puts out massive damage, and there's the Echo as well. Three heroes go down for Liquid in only exchange for one. And it all starts off with that dark pack being used on a simple creep wave in mid. Even with no blinks, but as far as enabling lots of kills with damage poured in, there's no Skyrath Mage, there's no Witch Doctor, they can't do that easily. They will, however, be able to find Spartan pretty easily. Poor Lion being left behind by the rest of his team. It's a small consolation prize, though, for Liquid, as Faces Void's peak in this game. Omni Slash here on the Jug, it's more than enough burst damage if they can pull him out from the creep wave. But there is also help here from Miracle. As you were being patient, oh, now, that was so gonna close. Catch a Chronosphere only onto Madara right now. They still don't know if there's a bat right in the area. They'll land the hook. Lasso's gonna cancel out that member opportunity. And now the Omni Slash is gonna bounce through Sun Strike, and they're all clumped up. He's gonna end up killing Kroki, freeing Madara to actually run away. And he's gonna spin away very quickly. Gush is there, but it's not quite gonna do it. Now the Healing Ward comes in. They can't kill him. Fish are gonna come in as the Ravage is deployed. Will stun up everyone, but there's no damage being dealt in the duration of that Ravage. And Mind Control is actually stuck. Once again, the Fisher, an all star for Adpinum so far, will give them another one as the Invoker will snipe the Shadow Demon and they'll spin down the Tide Hunter. Actually, he's able to steal that one as well. Adpinum turned things around. That Invis rune, such patient play from Skylark. Yeah, and it could it's still, like, that fight could have been really good for Liquid if it had started a little bit differently there. I mean, if the Invis doesn't actually give them, there are enemies here, but how do they position against them exactly? Matoma Man, gonna be able to get the Dark Pact off, gonna be able to kill off MNT before he can echo. And now there's no fight to be had. Like, this is a full disengage from AF. Except for Lion, who for some reason is running in with Shadow Amulet. One's TPing in. Oh no, that was huge miscommunication. The Invoker canceled his TP. Madara also thought he was getting back up, so he canceled his TP, and then they both just oh. didn't get in. So Madara's stuck here. The Invoker is not here. Miracle is getting a chain stun, even though he does use the Chronosphere, doesn't actually do oh. anything. But he does all the Omni Slash with that blink out. Dar is now kind of stuck here, does have the H, so he's more than okay with continued fighting. They're gonna Echo Slam onto the base void, finger death as well. Super dead miracle. Happy I'm even after that kind of uh, botched communication, still end up one kill richer on a useful kill target as well in the face of Spoid and pull out the Chronosphere and also see the Shadow Demon. Uh, yeah, there's a they definitely got the, a couple that seconds of the Blink Dagger. I think they got him. He's yeah, deaf. definitely. There's no way he does. lives. I mean, just honestly. But at this point, he, he did his job. He tried to defensively disrupt. And uh, if it wasn't for three ultimates committed to the Void, that Void would have lived. They had to commit the Echo Slam. Can't get any help. Oh! Although the is going to come in just in time. The Tumble Man Chain Stun, they do see him as well. He's going to pack out the Lasso. Leap over the Fissure. Where's the flame break? Still the Got him. Oh, he's dead. And that is it. I mean, when you have the Urshiger backup, you certainly can't kill him. And uh, he didn't. I didn't notice he had a TP scroll or his BOT is on. Shaker's not here. Him, but Skylar can't really help him. Thug's in a lot of trouble. They jump in. Ghost walk. Where's the sentry? There it is. A couple more reckless from a Tumble Man. Thug will throw a tornado. Just for value. Why not? He will go down, though. And that's really tough. I mean, you can commit with like a full on echo lead with the, the line this hard, where he doesn't have nearly as much backup, but they pop the Lincolns at long range with the Mana Drain, and they're able to pull him into a very compromised position, first to get him down, they need the Earth Spike, they will get the kill on the Void, and now there's no fight to be had for Liquid, we'll get a hook out, and we'll get everybody on the run, can Skylar keep this up, or is he in too deep, he's going to be disrupted a little bit early, Bulba, he might have just set, made it so that it's impossible for the Slark to engage, and in the end, Bulba's making in retreat, Slark thought he might be able to go, and um, in the end, Sark's going in anyways, but Tumble Man realizes there's no lasso, gonna try for something. But and of course, Roshan will fall with that. The Aegis is gonna be going to a Juggernaut, I believe, and they do actually catch Matumba. Oh, they have man, a gem? That's... I assume so, yeah. They, yeah, they don't, you don't find that kill without a gem. So, yeah, Skylark did pick that up without me noticing, and they're gone. 
and Liquid have absolutely nothing to answer with. This is this is costly. And we're gonna see Defusive Blade come out and gonna try to finish off my control. Yes, they will do it, even without the Sunstrike, as that is a level 17 Juggernaut with a lot of attack speed. He's the one that you have to be afraid of. And like you said, there just hasn't been enough five-man action. Like, great pickoffs here and there, actually. Speaking of, we see a Ravage coming out. Jump on Spartan. They put everything into the Lion. Will there be a rebuttal? Thug just throws out Tornado EMP. Gets some mana back for that one. But in the end, it's a uh, call to retreat. And Earthshaker won't hear that one. He's deafened. And he is killed. But all the same, it's two heroes for the Ravage for everything. And it's not really... It's going to be a hook out and a pounce back forward. A sun strike will be off the mark, but man, that was a close call. Dar's going in. Now Chrono coming out. Skylark is going to take a lot of damage. Matumbo drops down to critical HP on the tail end, survives. But that Omni Slash is still bouncing around here. Uh, and we're going to be seeing Madara still keep going thanks to the Aegis. Gets the turns out onto my control, who doesn't have a Ravage anymore. And he's going to be going down for sure. So they don't get the Slark, but they get his big brother tied. And Bulba will be going down as well. No Chronosphere, no answer. This might just be the second lane of Rax or the game itself. None of these heroes have buyback. And again, we're not seeing Liquid uh, with all of their ultimates when they need them. Uh, use them all in the top lane engagement, which was just okay. Maybe next time is going way too far in for an Earthshaker, but no problem. Still no punish. Jump in. This is not too far away for a Batride to initiate. They have a finger death on the Tumba Man. And here's the Fissure and the Sunstrike. Kaboom goes the Slark, instantly buying out for another life, another chance at actually making something happen, but with no Chronosphere, they just don't have any control with two heroes alive. Even if they had a, a Lion on the Liquid side, they don't have enough control to deal with what Akuma is throwing at them. Everyone's going to lose a lot of mana here. Slark is completely tapped out. Basis point up against the Fusal Blade is also without the ability to time walk. He's going to get picked off. Buyback, it's too late. They already lost Megas and Liquid. They're just getting picked apart. Here we are at Finum. Just circling like sharks, waiting for their final opportunity. I mean, if it's Roche, that's available. Cheese and Age is actually going to be the lion. Just prowling in the, the den of peasants. I don't know. What's the option? Quite limited in its success. Also known as failing. But still, he's uh, going to be on Madara. He goes into the base. Like, he's right next to the ancient, killing off all the heroes. AoE deafening blast here. Thug will be pulled into the fountain. The fountain hook is real. But in the end, Madara just says, screw this. I'm going for the base. And in the end, it's actually going to be the Earthshaker that starts cleaning things up with an echo and a big AoE hit. He's just buying time. He's creating space so that Madara can just burst down this base. But now he gets disrupted. He's going to be tasting it. Oh, his own medicine here as his illusions burn his own mana and burst him down. The Aegis is going to be gone shortly, but in the meantime, he gets to get some crits on mind control and kill off this tide. No buyback for him, and it looks like no return despite Miracle going in for the Chronosphere. Bulba dying to the creeps, running for his life, will be going down, and they are heading for the hills, which is not even a safe place as Batrider is in on top of them, and that's going to be it. GG, well played. Adfinum upset Liquid for a 2-1. to one.